How's it going everyone? So I figured we'd do another pellet review today. Today we're going to be looking at the Pile Driver by H&N Sport. This is a very unique pellet. This is We're doing it in 22 caliber. They do make this in 177, but we're doing the 22 caliber test today. This is a non-Diablo style pellet or a non-skirted style pellet. As you can see, this is actually designed more like a bullet with a, a boat tail at the bottom. These weigh uh, 29.17 grains, so basically 30 grains. You get 150 per pack, um, and they are solid round nose. They are not hollow points or expanding pellets of any of that sort. You can see they look very different than um, normal pellets. These are them, the pile drivers. These are some H&N Crow Magnums, just to give you some reference. So you can see just a totally different pellet design. I've heard mixed reviews about these. Some people say they shoot great. Some people say they shoot awful. I'm very interested in their uh, long range performance and their penetration capability. Today we'll be mainly looking at their penetration capability, you know, because accuracy is dependent on your gun, your rifling and all that. Um, so we have some barriers here, some uh, pine with aluminum you know, added on. We'll try that. And then we got two seven inch blocks of clay. We're gonna shoot into, we're gonna, you know, put the uh, barriers in front of the clay and see how the pellet deforms and, you know, continues on after that. And uh, yeah, well, so we'll see if these uh, 30 grain pile drivers are worth it. They're about 11 bucks a tin. You can get them on Amazon or Pyramid Air. I'm pretty excited to try them out. We'll be shooting them out of my uh, custom 2240 PCP. And uh, yeah, so let's get to it. All right, so we're about to get shooting. I just wanna show you the gun we're using real quick. This is my modded out 2240. It's technically a 2400 KT, um, for those of you who want to know that. Um, why is it on a pillow? Because I love my gun, it's beautiful. So I put it on a pillow anywhere it goes. <laughs> and um, yeah, so we're about to get shooting here. We're gonna do the clay test, and then we're gonna add barriers in front of the clay to see how the pile driver penetrates the barriers and go, then goes into the clay. So first we'll get an idea of what it does just to clay. All right. Alright, to make this video easy for everyone, I'm just going to look at both blocks together. Um, so, the first block we shot was with no barrier, as you guys saw. Okay, and the second block we shot was with two barriers back to back. Um, each a piece of pine with a uh, piece of aluminum uh, staple to it. Okay, now, let's start with the uh, non-barrier block. So. Um, here is the round from the barrier block though, and we're going to use this just um, for reference because as you can tell, it pretty much took zero damage um, from going through those two barriers. It's pretty much perfectly intact. The uh, skirt practically, it doesn't really have a skirt, but the uh, indentation isn't even deformed. Um, but, so we'll use this as a uh, reference. The non-barrier had quite ex pretty good expansion. These this block is about six and a half inches long, and if we put the pellet down, you guys can see that the path it created when it had no barrier to go through was pretty extensive. Very long, very deep, nice and wide, very consistent. You can see this is the other side. If we go over to the barrier side here you can see the stark difference. This is much more just clean, almost like a pencil, you know, very little uh, cavitation in comparison. You can see that it's pretty much the size of the pellet almost. Um, but it went through both of these barriers at 20 yards fully. It just blasted right through them and then pretty much penetrated almost this full block, about five and a half inches of clay. This one's a little bit shorter. Um, so this pile driver round did very consistent penetration work. I mean, it went six and a quarter inches the first time with no barrier, then went five and a half inches the second time with, with a barrier, two barriers. Um, I hit it pretty dead center, so the accuracy out of my gun seems to be pretty good after I dialed it in after like three rounds and uh, yeah 
it did pretty damn well. Um, I don't know if any of you have had too much experience with these pile driver rounds from H&N, but they seem to be working pretty well in my gun, and uh, I'm pretty impressed with this performance. So yeah, I'm happy. Tell me what you guys think of this video, if there's other uh, targets you would like me to test out this pile driver on. I could do more tests with this round. Um, also, I have many more pellet reviews to come. This was just the first. I just thought this pellet was a very interesting pellet. It's really not a pellet. It's more of a slug. Um, and it performed really well. I'm really happy with it. And uh, yeah, let me know what your experiences is and what other pellets you'd like me to review. Alright, thanks.